another hair review you guys um <laughs> sorry we had to do this intro like three times but this is monster hair so monster hair is an aliexpress company um this video is not sponsored of course i did buy this hair i wanted me some 613 blonde because you know blondes have more fun so let's get into it pros and cons okay so first of all we're going to talk about um cons uh, let's get that out of the way so cons of this hair was first and foremost the lace um i did oh let me tell y'all what i ordered first actually so i ordered a 20 a 22 and a 24 inch bundles with a 18 inch 5 by 5 lace closure and i mean the parting space is cool you definitely can part really far back so that's cool and the lace is five by five inches so that is cool of course that's bigger than a regular closure that part is you know all what it's supposed to be but the closure has a whole bunch of like little short filler pieces and they're human hair pieces but they're just short about like an inch and a half long hairs and it's all throughout the closure i'm going to insert a picture but it's super noticeable um some of them i was going through like cutting them down some of them i was just trying to pull out um cutting it down really like ended up being counterproductive i didn't like how that looked so i stopped doing that and um when you use the mousse and everything it helps to lay them but they're still like when the mousse starts to wear out towards the end of the day or whatever and you're out somewhere like you see these little bitty hand like hairs just start sticking up and that's like a dead giveaway to me that's like oh uh, lace that's a that's a piece right there a lace like i don't know it's just too much and so then on top of that the lace itself um the lace did come with it's transparent of course which is normal for 613 hair but like the lace was thicker than lace i'm normally used to working with and it's not so bad and it's not that like thick sharp lace that you get at the beauty supply store sometimes that like feel like it's gonna cut your fingers it's not that but it is definitely thicker and to me that makes it more easily to detect i'm gonna lean in close so see if you can see what i'm talking about here it's not down y'all excuse just me being a mess but i didn't lay it all the way down but it's like even with it being down like you could still see that you see what i'm saying like you could still see that um i ordered hair from if you watch my last review on ali pearl that lace is awesome and the way it melts when it's down you can't even see it you can't even see that boy this boy i can see like when it's down i can still see it which is kind of annoying to me um just the fact that it's not as thin as it could be it doesn't lay quite as flush but you can still get away with it because from back here where a normal person would be this far away from me like you are you can't even tell i only tell because i'm all up in my business so you know anybody looking that hard deserves what they see um other than that the closure was bomb this hair could color it was completely 613 when i got it i did dye the roots and i did tone down the hair a little bit i watered down some and i'll insert clips of me doing that i watered down some semi-permanent dyes and kind of brushed through to add highlights because i wanted more of a natural looking blonde and i did wash it with purple shampoo so i did tone it down a little bit it was brighter than this um next con of the hair is the actual hair so when I first got the hair, let me give a backstory so we know it's not just the hair. I did buy a box dye to put on it. I bought lightest blonde because I thought, and I didn't use the bleach part. I didn't use the lightener that comes in there. I just used the hair dye because I thought it was going to kind of give it an ashy tone to just go ahead and put that on there. And I wanted a permanent color. I wanted to get out the way. The hair texture changed. And it wasn't so like. horrible but the ends definitely got like stiffer and it was tangling more and i was kind of like oh my god i've only had this hair a week like why is it doing this to me but i kind of knew but like 
I still didn't expect that to happen because I just feel like, you know, you can lighten here and do things to it. It shouldn't happen that fast, but it did. Not really super. Well, <laughs> no, it's not really tangly at the ends. It's not causing a bunch of trouble really the ends are still a little different but they're not so bad it's not noticeable anymore this hair definitely can hold a curl so that's a pro i'm sorry i know i'm on cons but that was uh the that pro is going to lead into a con so the first time i curled it before we did the silicone mix um the ends some of the ends like died like they just were rough they were getting tangled i did clip some of them i clipped off all of those actually the ones that were doing that i just snipped them off because one of my classmates was curling it and i'm like that's not even gonna look good so i think part of that did happen because i lightened it again not really lightened it but i put that um box dye on there so but that's another con the ends were not my friend girl they were not my friend I did have to snip a lot of the ends off, but the length is still there because it was only certain parts that really got damaged with the um, curling where it was noticeable. And it was because I curled it and then she curled back over where I curled and it was those ends that were like, no ma'am. And I know what you're thinking. Oh, oh, heat damage. But no, that's like a hair issue because to be honest, hair that's brand new should not be having heat damage from only being curled twice but loyalty do not do it don't do it girl but so that was um the cons that was all the cons this hair surprisingly does not shed a lot and for it to be 613 hair it does not shed a lot just run my finger okay i just want to give a brief intermission you guys to the video because about, I want to say, two days after I recorded that video, <laughs> some things changed. I'm going to insert a clip, too. So, first of all, I think the flyaways just got worse. It was just one trying to tell my secrets. Here goes another one. Bing! Um, literally. I swear, like, two days, they just rebelled against me. So, that was first of all. And then, second of all, the hair itself, you guys. The hair itself turned into, like, a, a sad boy named Brad. Like, it got so bad, you guys. It got so incredibly sad. I'm going to show in the mirror. If you can see the ends of it. No, my mirror doesn't want to be my friend. Okay, so it's moving in this clip. Okay, I'm going to cut that out. So, you guys, about two days, I want to say, after I recorded that video, I went ahead and decided I was going to wash the hair and I was going to put in the hot water with the purple shampoo like people told me to do. And um, that was a disaster. Now, granted, I did not have the good conditioner that I would like to use. I don't know where my conditioner was, but it wasn't accessible. So I used the rest of my Cream of Nature from the um, Argan Oil Moroccan. That one is buns. But I used it on there and I tried to condition it and I tried to like let it dry and go, you know, be beautiful and happy. It didn't. It turned into sadness. It got so bad, y'all. It was so stiff. It was just so horrible. It was like not able to comb through. It was just really, I mean, it combed through, but like the back of the neck neck area like matted up and the ends just got super stiff they're still stiff but not as stiff so that was my update on this hair just do it no hairs just run my fingers through it no hairs okay i can't run my fingers through that part no hairs i'm back <laughs> No, but okay, so after I checked in with y'all last time, I went ahead and did a silicone mix of nothing. And it's mainly because, like, the hair was just not being my friend. It was like, it's just, I don't know, it was out to get me. So this time I went ahead and I did use boiling water. So I boiled the water and I put it in a container. And see, it probably would have went a little bit better, but I started to do my own thing. And I like put purple shampoo in the water with the silicone 
in the water and it just clumped the silicone together so it made it more hard but i made sure all the hair got covered in it still and i let it sit for a good 10 minutes maybe a little bit more before i rinse it out and i rinse it out with just um water and then i use shampoo i'm not shampoo i use conditioner and co-wash after that and i can say it's a big improvement like now i can run my fingers through it it is being okay um one thing i can say the ends is like i don't know they move now but not for real they kind of i don't know they're not acting like they normal. oh there we go did somebody say no <laughs> no but for real they're pretty bad um did somebody say pretty bad somebody say that we a little stiff because it is girl um I don't know. I don't think no my silicone is going to save it. I think eventually it's just going to get shorter and shorter. But for right now, that worked. Um, I think I mentioned earlier in this video, like, that the hair doesn't shed. It does. It sheds. So this bad boy sheds. Every time I touch this hair, it sheds. Every time I look at this hair, it sheds. Like, honey, this hair leaves you a whole breadcrumb trail. It leaves, like, a trail to the other trails because this hair just sheds so much um it definitely sheds it definitely 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 sheds oh poo hey poo come on my dog wanted to see you guys come on poo poo come on hey but um poo wait come on Yeah, this hair definitely sheds. Um, the lace became not quite so noticeably thick once I did go ahead and wash it, but it's still thicker than I would like it to be, but it's not so bad. These orange roots, on the other hand, <laughs> they're gonna have to go. I, like, every time, that's another thing about this hair, is every time I do wash it, um, like, it doesn't hold color well. So, for people who may have, like, watercolored their hair and things like that, um, the first couple of times, it'll probably be okay. But just know, like, every time you do wash the hair, your color is going to, like, slip away just a little bit. And, I mean, it's semi-permanent color, so that's what it's supposed to do. But, um, I don't know. Uh, anybody that use a door, y'all know, like, a door do not be... It don't be telling the truth when they say six washes. The door stay there for six months. But not on this hair. This hair, it just don't even want to last three washes before it does this. Which is okay. It looks passable for now. But I'm probably going to go ahead and add it back darker. Because it's only a closure. So, when my edges peep their way through, it's like, hello. Versus these very blonde edges it's giving me right now. I don't know. So, um, that's going to go ahead and conclude my video, you guys. I turned on the lights so that you can see my decorations with the lights on. Um, I've been had the lights, but I realized I never do videos with them on. So, there they go. <laughs> Let's take color. It can curl. Um, everything you want it to be. Okay, you guys. So this is the last, 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 last conclusion of this hair review. Um, I'm going to have to go back in. I already know. I have my house a lot of editing. And if you guys see like the lighting shift around on my outfit, it's because when I originally thought I was going to do a review, I didn't know the truth. I thought I did because I had already worn the hair a couple of weeks, but it turned out I needed to have the hair like a good month. I need a good month to really get the real feel of this hair. So, some things I already covered, some things I didn't. Let's just go right to it. Um, overall, as far as rating this hair, I would give this hair about a uh, 7 out of 10. And it gets a seven because on plus sides, it can color, it can straighten, and it can curl. Okay. 
goes around a plus size. Like all those things are true, very true, very strong, very wonderful. They're all the truth. Um, as far as why it gets a seven, now as far as on the low end, why it sheds like a crazy person. It sheds so bad. It sheds like I am just a piece of bread crumbling all down the lane. Like it sheds so bad. It just <sighs> sheds, sheds, sheds. It sheds. Anytime you run your fingers through this hair, this girl gonna shed, honey. She gonna shed. I got hairs in my hand not even one but hairs and i said before no 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 this hair doesn't shed it does sorry it tricked me it lied to my face because at first it didn't shed but now it does um as far as the hair itself it gets dry very easily it gets dry so easy it's not even funny um let me show you This right here, this creamy nature leave-in conditioner, it's going to be your best friend, okay? Um, <laughs> that conditioner is going to save your life with this hair. It gets so dry, but the leave-in conditioner does really help a lot. So if you can get that, it'll kind of get you along the way. The leave-in definitely helps. I put that on there like two to three times a day because... In between applications, the ends start to tell all my business. They start to, you know, stick together and just get stiff. It's still a little stiff right now, but it's not as stiff as it looks like. It, it doesn't look as stiff as it really is. So that definitely helps. And it helps with being soft and just not tangling as much. I'm telling you, that's a lifesaver. Um, but the hair gets very dry. The hair definitely sheds. Um, Color fades fast, but I expect it with 613 hair. Um, that's not like a super big issue. Um, Cause I did have to re-dye the roots. I re-dyed the roots. You probably gonna look at even another part of this review and you're gonna be like, she has orange roots and now they're brown. It happens, hey. Um, <laughs> that's another thing. Um, another con about this hair is besides the shedding is the stiffness. Oh my God. The stiffness is, like, the stiffness gets out of this world. I've done a silicone mix on this hair twice and the deep condition once. So, I did, the first silicone mix was just in um, a container full of hot water. Because the sinks in my school get pretty hot. Anybody that's not, I'm in cosmetology school. So, the sinks in my school get pretty hot. So, I left it in a container with really hot water um, for actually, like, 15 minutes. Took it out. Did okay after that. Told on my business within a couple of days. Tried the silicone mix again, not long after that. And this time I actually boiled the water, left it in a container. Did okay for maybe a day or two. It was back to being this big mouth self. Just getting stiff in the wind. It was just so bad. Like, it doesn't make sense how bad it was. So, that was next. Um... And then, last thing I did, and this was like a last gasp for life, was the deep condition. Because I was just looking. I'm like, what can do this if the silicone mix not saving it? Maybe nothing can. But the deep condition actually did. So I took it, and I mixed this stuff I got at Dollar Tree. I cannot even think of what it's called. But I got it at Dollar Tree to um, do fake relaxers with. And it's like a, a hair moisturizer. And I mixed it in with this cream of nature conditioner that I had left over to play in because I forgot my real stuff at home. And once I mixed that and I covered the hair with it and I combed it through and I put the hair in a bag and I let the hair sit in the dryer for like 45 minutes, I believe. And when I washed it out, the hair was immediately just like alive again it brought it back alive like it wasn't quite so stiff it just was a big noticeable difference um and that was the saving grace of this hair i swear um that was it the next day i flexi rotted it so this is not the hair's natural curl pattern um i did flexi rot it and i let it sit in the dryer and that's been some days ago now and it's still way softer than earlier in this review was going to be and it's way 
more movement it's way less stiff um, I did end up having to trim the ends which I was sad about that's another reason why it only gets to seven the ends were one of the first things to go that made me sad because <laughs> I like long hair and I had to cut like maybe an inch off so it's like 23 inches instead of 24 it was enough that makes me sad honey but um whatever um that was another thing the ends got stiff pretty fast I'm gonna stand by what I said earlier though in the video if I did have to buy this video again I, if I did have to buy this hair again I probably would now keeping in mind if you want this hair this is not no hair you're gonna keep for years and years you'll be lucky if you keep this hair for four months I'm gonna be very surprised with myself if I keep it for four months and it's still this long. If anything, it's probably gonna gradually get shorter because the ends are the first to go. Um, oh, and the lace, I mentioned it before, but the, the closure has so many flyaways in it and the lace itself is thicker and more noticeable than I would like it to be. It's not just horrible, it's enough to finesse the game, but it's definitely more visible than other lace i don't know if i'm in a good camera view right now but it's some lace like you can't even say well hey where's the lace this lace when i go look and i see it and that's just that but if you're looking for something for a temporary hairstyle that's gonna be a portable 613 hair this is a yes if you're looking for something that's gonna be able to color and look good temporarily this is a yes um if you just need something affordable, this is a yes. If you're making a wig and you just have a person that takes your wig off every night and you buy that Criminate Your Leave-In Conditioner, this is a yes. If you like hair that lasts a long time or isn't very high maintenance, it's definitely a no. This hair is very, very, very high maintenance. It's not even funny. Um, the amount of detangling and spraying conditioner on it I have to do and upkeep with the lace just because of the fact that it is thicker than some lace like some lace you could go ahead and be glueless and go ahead about your business this is not one of those I mean it's not glued down but it has to have some type of gel or something keeping it down um, because the lace doesn't lay flush with the skin but me trying to be a little cheap cheap and still cute this your girl if not um we'll have better luck next time so far my favorite hair company is actually ally pearl hair so i actually want to be trying something with them again soon but we're at the end of this video i hope you guys enjoyed it um if anyone watched loyalty's first birthday haul i know i'm so 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 late but I'm going to go ahead and put up the video of how her party went and the updated video of it. So um, let me know if you guys actually watched that. And stay tuned for our next video. As always, like, comment, and subscribe. Bye-bye. You want to say bye-bye? Bye. <laughs>